Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Shimon Kimali at Channels Television's global headquarters in Lagos. So much to talk about tonight. Uh, a lot of attention to tomorrow, the D-Day when we will know will become the Senate President or the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Deputy Senate President or the, uh, the Deputy Speaker. That has been a major contention for the past days or so. Let me first tell you about some of the stories that we are monitoring for you. It's now for real. We have a democracy day and perhaps a law. The President, Muhammad Buhari, today signed the June 12 bill into law. Uh, President's aide on National Assembly matters, Senator Itai Nang told State House correspondent uh, with the assent to the amendment, May 29 is no more a public holiday. President Muhammad Buhari assented to the Public Holiday Amendment Act, declaring June 12 of every year a public holiday and democracy day. But now let's check out uh, our political roundup. We have more trending political stories for you. presidential election petition tribunal sitting in the nation's capital, Abuja, will continue hearing petitions of the political parties challenging President Buhari's victory at the February polls on Tuesday, June the 11th. The tribunal is led by its new chairman, Justice Mohamed Garba, who replaces the president of the Court of Appeal, Justice Zaina Bukatua, after she recused herself from the trial. At the resumed hearing today, the tribunal listed the petitions before it, while counsel to coalition for change announced the party's decision to withdraw its petition against the victory of the president. Meanwhile, in Ikiti State, southwest Nigeria, the National Commissioner in charge of the area brings good tidings and the state scores many first, including being the first to turn in presidential election results and first in compliance with electoral guidelines. INEX says the review is an avenue for electoral officials to ventilate the experience as the aim is fact-finding for improvement. The Ogun State Governor, Dakwa Bjordan, has sworn in the state's ninth assembly with Honorable Kunle Oluomo from Ogun Central Senatorial District emerging Speaker of the State Assembly. In a ceremony at the assembly complex in the state capital, the new Speaker and Deputy were elected unopposed by other members of the State Assembly. The new Speaker, while giving his acceptance speech, thanked members for their support and promised to support the executive arm of government while not betraying the confidence reposed in him. The York State Governor Shei Makinde has inaugurated the ninth assembly in the state. 32-year-old Debo Ogundoin from Ibarakwa East State Constituency emerging as speaker. The historic event, which was witnessed by dignitaries across the state and beyond, produced Honorable Mohamed Fadi from Onoara State Constituency as deputy speaker. Governor Makinde, in his first address to the House, says he is elated at the composition of the new assembly, which is filled with new entrants, but for three returnees. Some agreed political aspirants on the platform of the All Progressives Congress in Ondo State have appealed to the national leadership of the party to compensate them. The aspirants told Channel's television in Akure, the state capital, that there were no primary elections for the state and national assembly polls in Ondo State. According to them, they were asked to step down to pave way for consensus candidates. The politicians say they were asked to withdraw their cases from court after meeting with the Vice President, Professor Yemi Shibajo, with a promise that they would be compensated. The Coalition of United Political Parties has urged the All Progressive Congress to ensure that there is ethnic and religious balance in the choice of leadership in the National Assembly. The Deputy National Spokesperson of the Coalition, Mr. Mark Adebayo, observed that the executive and legislative arm of government should not be led by Muslims. Mr. Adebayo appealed to the party to allow a Christian emerge as Speaker of the House of Representatives during the inauguration on June 11, 2019. No, not yet. Kogi State Governor Yahya Bello has charged newly inaugurated members of the Kogi State 7th Assembly to put the interest of the state above any personal interest in order to move the state forward. Governor Bello gave the charge at the floor of the State House of Assembly during the inauguration of the 25 new members of the House. He advised them not to forget their electorate and constituencies. He called for the establishment of constituency offices by elected members at all levels.